How's it going, everybody? Frank Robles with the Strength Equals Show. Uh, so today, I want to talk about glandulars and taking glandulars. Uh, by glandulars, I mean like animal organs, like heart, uh, liver. Um, I take bull testicles also. Uh, I think all these things are not only loaded with nutrients, minerals, like minerals and vitamins. I've talked about this in the past, about how we want to look for nutrient-dense foods. Uh, but I also do think like things... Uh, like the glands, there is something you can look up, the philosophy, and it's called like helps like, meaning you eat these certain things and it gives the nutrients to those glands or organs that you need. Uh, I do think the research on that looks pretty good. Uh, worst case scenario, you're just taking something that's still loaded with uh, protein, vitamins, and minerals. Even if it doesn't do those other things, that's how I look at it. But I do think there is uh, validity to that, me personally. So what you got here, if you're looking at it, it looks like a looks like a rock or a potato actually, is one bull ball. Uh, I do think that they definitely help. And again, not only helping maintain the health of if you're a male, your testicles, but also helping boost your testosterone and helping your body make better testosterone or more of it. Um, do the research, check it out. People have different views. I'm just going with my own anecdotal, I think that's how you say it, anecdotal uh, feelings about it, what I've felt and haven't felt when I'm on and off of, off of them. Now, for those who don't want to eat it like this, I, uh, this is in its raw form, it's frozen, and I'll show you what I do with it in a moment. You can buy it in its dried form in a pill. So for those who want to do that route, want to try it, go that way, go online, you'll find different places that sell it. Uh, I don't want to endorse anything, uh, but you'll see different places that sell it. Uh, you can either find it under the bull testicle name, or its official name is Orchic. Uh, kind of like, think of orchid, like a plant, but it's Orchic. Uh, I'm gesturing over here. You probably can't see it, but my wife has got a couple of orchids in the window over there. But anyways, for those who are adventurous and want to try um, this route from the animal, a lot of times they give it to you for free if you can find a butch. Uh, a farmer, a farm, or a place that slaughters cows, they'll give it to you for free or for cheap money. Uh, but when you get it, it's going to have this, I don't know if you can see it, the skin membrane on it, okay? When it's thawed out, it's super hard to get off. It's slippery. Um, it's just a pain. So what I like to do is do it when it's frozen. Again, frozen. And that membrane just comes off easier. Uh, this knife isn't really the sharpest knife, so it's probably not the best way to do it. But what you do is go ahead and just cut a ridge along the top of it to open that up. It's almost like a, a soft egg, if you will. Okay, so that's, this outer shell is what you want to take off. So you, after you cut it, kind of see how that peels off. I don't know if you can tell, but here's that outside membrane. So much easier when it's frozen. Some of you who are squeamish, maybe think that's disgusting. Well, I kind of have like a joke. Well, maybe that's the reason why you need to eat more of this. Get your testosterone up and stop being such a wimp. Eat it already. Okay? So, what I do at this point... I'm going to get rid of this knife because it's kind of junk. Alright, so at this point, I cut it for the section that I want for today. Okay, and the rest I'll put in the freezer. So, I'll do about this much. You can cook it up. I, I think actually cooking it may kill some of the um, the nutrients, so I don't cook it. I eat it raw. If you're worried about germs, I wouldn't worry about it. It's pretty clean. Freeze it. Freeze it will kill a lot of stuff. But I also freeze it because I make a shake out of it. It's just, excuse me, quicker to eat. It's in a shake form. to sit there and make a mess, cooking and all that. You know, right now, obviously, we're making a mess with an initial setup, but once this is in a bag and everything, it's all set up. So, put my chunks... I use a blender, 
Put my chunks in there. Believe it or not, it tastes good. And I know I, I can be, I eat gross things, but I'm telling you, it tastes, because the bull testicle is kind of like yolkish. Tastes like a yolk. So when you add it with the orange juice, it actually tastes like a creamsicle. So, as gross as that sounds, I'm being true. So, the rest, pretty self-explanatory. Gonna get loud for a second. So here it is, all blended up, pour it into a cup. So that's it, drink this up two or three times a week and get your testosterone up. If anything, you get your nutrients up. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for joining me on the Strength Equals show today. Have a good day. Stay strong.